Mark, thank you. Uh, during the summer months, there's a dramatic jump in skin cancer warnings and recommendations to slather on more sunscreen. But another type of cancer requires you to pay closer attention to your fingernails and toenails in your nail salon might even spot the symptoms way before you do. Alice Benjamin is an emergency room registered nurse and clinical nurse specialist. Good morning. Good to see you. Hi, good morning. So nail melanoma, yes. I, I think many people watching go, oh, gosh, I didn't know that that was a thing. Um, what does it look like? Right, so when it comes to nail melanoma, it's a melanoma. It's a form of skin cancer, but it happens under the nail, so something very least suspecting. And what it looks like is a darkened streak that travels your nail bed. It can be blue, uh, dark brown, black, and it travels the entire mm -hmm. nail bed. That particular nail can be weak, brittle, it'll start to break. It might be a little painful, and some of that discoloration may spread to other parts of the finger. Now, melanoma, least occurring skin cancer, however, it's the most deadliest, mm. but almost with early intervention is the most curable type of cancer. What are the causes of nail melanoma? Yes, so science is still out to bay on that. We really don't know exactly what causes it. It's not caused by the direct sunlight like the other forms of skin cancer. Yeah. However, we do know that there are certain people who are at risk people who have a personal or past history of uh, melanoma, people who are over the age of 50, and people with darker skin pigmentations are at higher risk for developing these types Men of Men and women. Men and women equally, yes. You know how we protect ourselves by slathering on sunscreen? Yes. Would one do that for one's nails? Well, not necessarily the nails because this melanoma isn't caused by uh, overexposure of the sun. We don't know exactly what causes it. Hmm. So because of that, we don't have any exact prevention tips with the exception of surveillance, early identification. So, you know, taking the time to look at your fingernails and toes, mm -hmm. this happens about 60% of the time in your fingernails, 60 to, uh, 40% in your toes, usually the thumbs or the big toes, you'll definitely want to look at these. And with everyone going to the nail salon, men and women, perfect time to look at your nails. Mm -hmm. And I actually went and got my nails done yesterday and I asked the technician, how many times do you see things happening in people's nails? And say something. She says, well, I see it weekly. But, really? you know, I, she doesn't always say something because people take this very personal, your fingernails and your toes. But um, it's definitely an opportunity if you go to the nail salon two, two three weeks, you have a perfect view of your nails to look at them and to inspect well, them. A lot of people are probably more common, you know, you get these nail fungus or whatever. Yes. And, uh, you know, is, is, is it easier to detect or do you have to do some tests or how do we do, what do we do? Because it could be just a fungus. Right. So there's often a lag of diagnosis. It takes about a little over two years for someone to first identify a problem to the diagnosis of this type of uh, skin, uh, nail cancer. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you really just need to look at them and fungus usually presents differently. It's white, yellow, hardening of the skin. This melanoma pre presents differently. It's right. darkened. Some people mistake it as a bruise, but if it's a bruise that doesn't grow out, even though the nail's growing, that might be a sign that something's happening. So you need to be cognizant of, was there any type of trauma and what's going on with my nail? And worst case scenario, if you don't know what it is, get to your doctor, get to your dermatologist, let them do a skin biopsy. Mm -hmm. They'll biopsy the nail, send it off to see if it's cancerous. And if it is, the treatment for this will be surgical removal. And get it done sooner versus later. Because what, what could happen if, if you let it go? Good question. So if you don't get this treated right away, it can actually spread. So um, worst case, what they can do is they can remove, surgically remove the area that's affected, but if we wait too long, it can spread. Mm. It may lead to amputation of some of your finger, if not the entire <laughs> finger, and then it can also metastasize through your bones, and because the nail bed, there's a lot of blood and lymph nodes at the base of your nail, it can spread systemically to the rest of your body and result in death. Yeah, so serious. Yeah. Uh, remind us about the ABCs of melanoma. Oh, yeah, so when it comes to ABCs, you'll want to look for A, asymmetry. So you're looking for any type of uh, discoloration that's asymmetri uh, asymmetrical. And B, you're going to want to look at the borders, mm -hmm. right? Um, are the borders even, smooth, and those type of things. And then you're going to look for color. Does the color change? You know, has it gotten lighter, darker? Is it changing? You also look at the D for the diameter. Because with this uh, nail can uh, cancer, it actually widens uh, across your nail. And then E, is it evolving? So... Yes, it might be something simple as nail fungus or bacteria, but if it's sticking around, it's not going anywhere, get to your doctor, get it checked out, and make sure that it's not this type of skin cancer. All right, good info. Yeah. Alice Benjamin, an emergency room RN and clinical nurse specialist. You can follow her on social media and check out her website, asknursealice.com. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Thank you.